The Toyota Land Cruiser has for many years been known as the king of the desert. But I mean, with the new generation and the addition of new features, do you think that this particular generation, the LC300, retains this title? This new generation of the Toyota Land Cruiser attack, the LC300, made its debut in the year 2021 for the 2022 model and this new generation comes entirely different from what we had the last time and that particular one did last for a very good number of years so very prominently you notice that we get a very box shaped design all over the car so instead of the other one with the curves and the angles you get a very boxy shape on this one then you get very prominently a bigger grille with lots of chrome finish. So you have chrome here, chrome here, that chrome everywhere on the window sills, on the roof rails, every single wear. And this makes this car very luxurious. So for the headlamp, of course, you get your side indicators, which are LEDs, your triple beam headlamp, which are also LEDs. You get your fog lamp down there, more chrome, and this is just very beautiful. The tech in this is great. On the side, you get 20 inch rims, pretty much the same brake discs as you had in the previous generation. You get your power folding side mirrors with blind spot detection warning, side indicators. Now, you'd notice that on this generation, the ground clearance is a bit lower because you get a revised chassis. You get keyless entry in this car. In the rear, of course, we get four parking sensors as opposed to having two in the front. You get your wide exhaust tips right here, you get your LED tail light right here. And of course you get the whole identification thingy. But then this is the major difference that was made to this car. So you get a single gate or single door power tailgate. So the previous generation did have those doors that used to open, like have like half of it open to the top and the other one lower. I think that, that is missing here. And I think I want that back because that extra lower step made it very helpful to be able to slide things in and out or even get in. But I think this also is fine. For this generation, you get the two row version of this car. So you don't get a third row, which gives you an ample amount of space in the trunk, which is very good. So not only do you have a two row um, SUV right here, as opposed to having a five seater, you get a four seater. So you get two captain seats in the middle right there because this is the 70th anniversary VIP edition. So before we go all executive businessy businessy, let's talk about all the fun stuff, which you always know that in cars like this is in the rear. So right here, because we're in the 70th anniversary edition, we have a lot of prominent features, very new features that I'm very surprised to find in a Land Cruiser. The first being a star gauge roof. So instead of having the full panel roof that you find in most conventional new cars, you get the star gauge that you get in the Rolls Royce, which is amazing like really really cool then you get these two captain seats instead of having a normal second row stretch seats for five people which is very comfortable each of them is power controlled and they do have heated function and massage function which you can control from this beautiful screen you see right here you also do get ambient lights which you can change or choose colors from right here then of course you can also change or control your automatic climate zone from here to you get a four zone climate control so you get two in the front two in the rear and that is just amazing speaking about the practicality of this car in this section one eternity later toyota ah oh, finally so we get dual cup holders right here then in this compartment you get an extra storage compartment. I don't know what all of this is, but yes, we do get wood trim around the car, like in different parts of this car. <laughs> then when it comes to the lighting, your stargaze, you can change colors of the lighting in the car, which is very useful. So you notice that we get two screens behind each of the front seats and these LCD screens are just very beautiful. So you get to connect your phone to this via Miracast or you can use the HDMI cable of which the port is underneath somewhere around here. The comfort in this car is very amazing. I mean, you get a lot of headroom if you just lean back in your captain's seat right here like this. But over here, you do not get a lot of leg room. So if you're someone who's taller than me, this second row might not be very comfortable for you but like i said everywhere you have to touch 
is soft like you get soft leather right here soft leather right here you get wood trim although it's a toyota i mean so you do get plastic but it you get premium stuff right here which is really cool before we go to the front there's one last thing practicality is just something else in this car so you get some storage right here for your phone you get another set of cup holders two more cup holders you have your cigarette lighter and then you have two usb-c ports in the back that's really cool usb-c ports i like the upgrade and then of course you get your rare ac vents which you also get some of right here when you talk about building a car with quality materials you might not get the most premium materials but toyota does give you their definition of premium and that is what was used to build the lc 300 so you get this very beautiful soft to touch leather that is very comfortable to sit on so you get leather even right here you get plastic that is soft to touch and on the roof you get this very suede -y material i'll just call it suede in black right so you get the dual tone interior the brown and then the black and then you get this sunroof over here which is you know pretty fair so you don't get the panel roof like i said because of the stargaze in the back so this is good and then you can electronically take the glass up or down or open it entirely or close it which is good so guys let's now talk about everything it is that we have and can see here so like i said dual tone interior you have more leather on the door with more wood trim on the door of course you have your door bin with the bottle holder right there then you get your glove box with every thing you need including your car manual in this segment we have the 12.3 inch touch screen infotainment system which is compatible with apple carplay and android auto and has built-in navigation so you notice that you have this usb compartments so you can connect your usb directly to the screen and then you also have your wi-fi connectivity bluetooth connectivity and even your internet connection to be able to perform different functions on this screen so you get a storage compartment right here you get a normal usb port here a usb c port and even a 12 volt socket or a cigarette lighter you also do get a wireless charging port right here which you can turn on or off via this control here then you get your gear selector lever which is right here then you get your differentials so you get self-locking differentials in this car because this is the 70th anniversary edition and you get your ECT so you can turn on your ECT which is the electronically controlled transmission that comes in Toyota cars you have that you have ECT second then you have crawl mode which you can activate or deactivate via this button you also do get your high and low for for like your off-road and on a normal like off-road and normal street driving conditions you get your e-parking brake and you have auto hold in this place here you get two very massive cup holders which i really like and for this segment so you can open this storage compartment via this button right here or here and that would bring you to this part not just is it a storage compartment you get like this movable thingy right here i don't know what to call it which you can slide to either side but you also get a cool box which you can turn on or off which i think is very useful and well i mean what's a land cruiser without a cool box anyway comfort in the front in my opinion is way better than it is in the back because you get more leg room in the front than you get in the back but i mean you don't have a problem in the headroom anyway as you have this right here so you get your leather strapped steering wheel with wood touch touches right here then you get your normal driver assistant controls and your audio controls you also even get voice controls on this car which is very amazing now when it comes to the gauge cluster so while you have your normal digital screen which is very small you don't get a fully digital gauge cluster right here you get that right there then you get your analog clocks so one for your speed clock or your speedometer one that tells you your petrol levels your rev counter your engine temperature your oil level and even your battery voltage that is amazing so this tells you quite a lot which is 
very very handy on the door you get your window controls then you get your power folding mirror controls which are very good then down there you get your traction control buttons you get your light control so you get adaptive headlamps on this car you get those controls right there so like i mentioned earlier you have your blind spot detection warning you get pedestrian and cyclist detection in this car you have adaptive cruise control lane keeping assist and the others that you get in this car and then like i said you get this particular unit the 70th anniversary edition with a different kind of suspension system you have what toyota calls the ekdss that's the electronic kinetic dynamic suspension system so basically this just has those active anti-roll bars that keep the car in place which makes the handling way more precise and so you get less body roll and that is very very cool for this car you do not get the usual v8 so toyota stepped down the powertrain to give you something way more advanced here you have a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged v6 engine and this is mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission so you get 460 horsepower 651 newton meters of torque at just 2000 rpm this car is really jumpy and when it comes to the fuel economy it is just as punchy so everybody knows that the lc takes a lot of fuel this new engine is no different at all anyway this car sprints from 0 to 100 in about 6.8 seconds all of the power is sent to the four wheels you get a 4x4 four four, which allows you to go off-roading and just as usual you do not get an electronic power steering rather you get the normal the hydraulic power steering so while i mean it's a toyota toyota's they I don't know how to put it but i'll just say that they maximize or they capitalize on affordability and so i'd say that they've compromised on giving you certain things to be able to give you a very great car in an affordable way so you get a whole lot of plastic although these have been pre presented rather in a very premium way so as not to feel cheap all right but nonetheless guys anyway so apart from all of that you get a very new generation you get a revised chassis which is not very different from the older generation you also get a very revised suspension system which as opposed to the older generation is electric and tends to adapt better to road conditions and faster too do you think that with all of these features toyota has still retained that reputation with the lc300 the king of the desert tell me guys in the comment section anyway guys we've gotten to that part thank you so much for sticking with us up until this extent if you like this video please do want to give me a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel share this video because somebody definitely needs to see this and i will see you in the next one